Okay, peeps, one of our Facebook members was at a restaurant yesterday and he got country or chicken fried steak. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna, I've never tried it. I've never made it low carb before, but that's what we're gonna have for dinner. Stay tuned. Okay, I have some bacon cooking and over here, I have my meat cut into slices. I'm gonna put them in a baggie, pound them out and create my dredge for them. Okay, I got these little babies pounded out. Now to dredge. Okay, I season these little babies up and hold on one sec, let's come over here. I have a little dredging station. You guys, I found these panko breadcrumbs. Decided to use those. I usually will make my own, but I figured, well, this is easier. Um, I put some heavy whipping cream and eggs in here. And then this I made up also. <laughs> it's almond flour and a little bit of tapioca flour and some seasoning. So I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I'm probably going to dip, 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 fry. Okay, you guys. I have it in my iron skillet. It smokes really fast because I added a little bit of olive oil with the bacon grease. If I just had a ton of bacon grease, it would be great, but I knew I'd run out and I didn't want to put any kind of bad oils in here. So I'm going to let it brown on one side, flip it over. Once it gets brown on the other side, I'm going to let it cool down on this cookie sheet. See, I don't have that much bacon grease, but I know that's going to help with the flavor. So I'm going to add it into each batch that I make. There we go. Wish me luck. Okay, I might have let it fry just a little bit too much or a little too high, but it looks good to me. Okay guys, I had some broccoli in the fridge, so I just steamed some up real quick. Didn't saute it or anything, just gonna have steamed broccoli. I have our chicken fried steak here. I'm gonna make some gravy real quick and I'll show you guys our dinner in just a sec. Got a couple extra pieces going here. It's delicious. Okay, in the remaining grease, I'm gonna make a gravy. Using heavy whipping cream, I'll put some chicken broth in here, some seasoning, and tons of pepper, tons of pepper. Okay, guys, chicken fried steak and biscuits and gravy used to be my favorite when I was a kid, but I would always get sick and I had no idea I was lactose intolerant. Although I was one of those kids who didn't like ice cream, didn't drink milk. Look at that, see when it starts cooling from the bottom a little bit, I know it's thick enough. So now I'm gonna taste test it, see if I need some salt and tons of pepper. And then we'll plate our our dinner. Alrighty, here is our beautifully fried chicken fried steak, some veggies with some butter on it, and now I just need to put our famous gravy on it. Show you in just a sec. Here you have it. Yum, look at that. Mmm, delicious. Okay guys, meal prepping the rest. I just separated it. There's only a few veggies left, but that's okay. Get some bacon in there, and some bacon in there, some bacon in there, some for you, some for me, some for you, some for me. Mmm. <laughs>